Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to use SEMrush to find your competitors. It's very easy to do and there's multiple ways of doing it, but I'm just going to show you three of my favorite or what I feel are the most effective ways of doing it. In case you haven't gotten to test out SEMrush or you'd like to follow along, I will put a link in the description. If you click that, you can get a free trial for SEMrush. Let's begin. So the first one is going to be based upon organic research. All you need to do is type in your domain right there, click on search, and this is where I am right now. So this is the best way in my opinion about going about it, you need to just simply click on the competitors tab right here. And as you'll scroll down, you're going to see organic competitors and it says the competitive level based upon, well, I'll read it for you. This metric is calculated based on the number of keywords of each competitor and the number of common keywords of both competitors. If websites have a large number of common keywords, they can be considered competitors. So it's pretty much going to start with some of the top ones. And of course, it's going to go down from there. So this is going to be the highest. And then scrolling down, you're going to see some of the common keywords, uh, SE keywords, traffic, cost, and paid keywords overall. Overall. So this is probably one of the best ways. If you keep scrolling through, you're going to see there's a lot of them. And there's going to be 17 pages worth. So if you want to get a good idea of who are your competitors, or maybe you just don't know that, maybe you're in a new niche where you're not familiar with the territory, who are some of the big players, or who are some of the new and upcoming websites that are you can create content around just to start ranking originally, this is going to be a great spot. So that's the number one spot when it comes to finding competitors, in my opinion. A lot of data, very quick, very easy to do. Okay. Next is going to be in the backlinks analytics section. Once again, I have my root domain in there. Make sure you put in your own. Okay. And then from there, as you might guess it, we're going to click on outbound domains. I'm just kidding. Make sure you're checking. We're going to click on competitors right here. Okay, and once we click on competitors, here we are. It's going to have a few different statistics on top, especially with backlinks. I don't believe that was in the previous one, right? Yes, yeah, so no backlinks. Uh, this doesn't have traffic and so on and so forth. So you're going to get maybe a few different ones, but if you'll scroll down, there's not going to be as many. So once again, this is just another very quick way to see some competitors. In my opinion, the previous one is going to be the best. But hey, like I said, there's multiple ways of doing it. Let's look at one last one, which is another quick way. So, so here's the last way of doing it. There's Still plenty more, but I think three will do. We're going to want to click on the Trends tab and go to Market Explorer. Once we have our main domain domain in there, that's going to be yours. We want to scroll down a little bit until we get to Domain versus Market Dynamics. Now, what you can do, you can't always click on these unless you have the upgraded version, which I don't at the time. But if I was to click on this, like you have to get the Trends data for $200 a month extra. However, what you can do is when you click on one, say Blogger's Ideas, we can click on View Details. And from here, you can just get a little bit more information into what their website is all about. Like if I go to overview, we can talk about visits, unique visits, you know, average visit duration, bounce rate, cool stuff like that. And even some of their top pages where they get the traffic share, unique page views, unique visitors, and so on and so forth. And this is just SEMrush doing what SEMrush does with a lot of their great stats. You know, you can check out backlinks if you want. You can do a lot of cool things. But once again, that's just pretty much diving deeper, a little bit more into the competitors if you want to go that way. So like I said, very quick video. There's plenty of ways to use SEMrush to find competitors. I recommend the first way. It's quick, it's easy, and it's going to come up with a lot of them just for me right here. There's 1,661 competitors, and then you can dive deeper into them if you want to see more of their backlinks, their top keywords, what they're doing, and so on and so forth. So I hope this answers your question when it comes to finding competitors. Very easy to do, multiple methods of it. If you'd like to test out SEMrush, that free trial link will be in the description. That about does it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.